1% battery. Just got to Newark, New York. 20 minute ride to this Turo car. We're looking at a Toyota Camry with a lot of miles on it. Sounds like it runs okay. And uh, we're gonna go off to Chalfont, Pennsylvania right now. I think I got some extra batteries. Here we go. My Turo. First time I ever rented a Turo. I had to send this guy selfies of myself um, with my driver's license. I had to take a picture in front of the car and I took a picture in front of the wrong Camry up the street. He's like, wrong car. <laughs> Too funny. All right, let's get out of here. We're going uh hour and 20 minute drive to Pennsylvania. All right, I'm at the Airbnb and I just housed a ton of Chinese food. Oh, stuffed. You know, it's only 10, 15 here, so 9, 15 back home, but it feels like I've been awake for 24 hours. So here I am, I'm in this bedroom in this house built in 2006. The kitchen's remodeled, super nice. Met Kim, she's a professional cookie maker. And she was like, what's up? How's it going? Come on in. Welcome. Open all the cabinets. Open all the drawers. Make yourself cozy. Coffee machines over here. I was like, all right, all right, all right. Her two dogs. <laughs> Super cool dogs. She's going to be making cookies till 2 a.m. She told me. 2 a.m. Making cookies. All right. I'm going to call her a day. Unpack my bag. Get ready for mañana. Day two. Sleep was a little rough. Cool half stuff. All right, here we are outside Chateau Kimbo, Airbnb host's house. And there's the neighborhood. Right off Highway or County Road 212. Here's my rental. <laughs> yeah. Great parking job. Not. <laughs> wow. This is northeast for you couple things when it comes to sleep it was it was too cold it was like 30 degrees last night Ugh. I kept waking up it's too freaking cold it's freaking cold up here I got terrible sleep <laughs> about to warm it up in this car oh, oh. chilly oh chilly why is it so cold Holy smokes, dude. You can't see my breath, so it's not that cold. Where's the heat? Yeah, there we go. High heat. Let's go. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> sure it's called peace park like that take a look at this place i gotta tell you texas doesn't have anything on this landscaping it's ridiculous this place is like a picture and you might be wondering what's the name of this town c-h-a-l-f-o-n-t and it's nothing you know it's not some crazy tourist attraction town. It's just, oh, what is that? Let's get this guy a camera. Gotcha. Oh, he's going fishing. It's a regular town outside of Philadelphia. And the Northeast is peppered with places like this. It's crazy. Get him. There he goes. Yup, going fishing. I grew up in, in a place like this, and man, do I miss it. Jeez. How did I wind up in Austin, Texas? I know why. <laughs> um, 
gonna go over to this dock. Take a look. Out here on the dock. Uh oh, look up truck. It's a little logo on the side. Better get out of here. Time out. That's just a house. Right now I'm at this place called Tabora Farms. This place is magic. It's a little slice of heaven. They've got all kinds of fresh baked goodies. They had a mound, a mound of cookies, like a foot and a half tall chocolate chip, ginger snap, peanut butter, all kinds of cookies. This whole bag was $12. I've got donuts and cookies galore. Oh, so we're gonna give my mom, that's what I call my grandma. We're gonna give her some uh, apple cider donuts because she loves them. You know, I, I record every single day. Okay. Folks, there's my Uncle Tim, Pennsylvania. Oh. Who's that? What are you doing? You got your hoe? It's me, your favorite, your favorite person ever. You know why? Because I got donuts. So do I. Yeah, but these ones are fresh. Yours are in your freezer. Oh, you heard that. Gregory, nice to see you. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you too. Yes. You're one of my favorite people in the world. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, you got it. Good to see you. Well, we should go stand in front of the restaurant so Let's they can see you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> yeah, she's got her home. Hey, you saw me. I'm going, darn, she saw me. So that was a very special trip because I've got some of the best memories of my life with that grandma, calling my mom. And that was my Aunt Carol and Uncle Tim that you also saw in the video. We visited her at her new house or new uh, residence, rather. And now, so, so mind you, that was in Pennsylvania, a little outside of Philly. Now, I'm in Beacon, New York. B-E-A-C-O-N. Look at this backyard of this house. It's the back of the house, built in the early 1900s. It's flipping awesome. And then when you go over here, wait till you see this. This is a hiking mountain with an incredible view of the Hudson River. Look at this. You can hike all the way to the top of that and get real close to those towers over there. Let me see if I can. There we go. I mean, gosh, this landscaping is incredible. Two-car garage there. Let's go take a look. Look at that. Like, look at that. What? You don't get anything close to that in Texas. I'm serious. Palm trees are cool, though. Wait till you see the front of this house. This is my business partner's place. They're a realtor, obviously. <laughs> look at this street. Route 9D. There's also a Route 9. Got a super way down there. There's the mountain. Neighbor's house. Look at this, look at this thing. How sick is that? Oh, this area is oh, Hudson River? You could chuck a rock and throw a water a, a rock in the river over there. Uh what else? Manhattan. There's a train right there. It takes you right into Grand Central Station. This location. Primetime USA.